What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, it's what's in my Vito Pro Pack 2021. Now this is the Tech Pack MC. This is the bag I pretty much use 90% of the time, no matter if it's an install, a maintenance, or a service call. This is my go-to bag. Let's dive right into it. All right, so first let's take a look on what's on the outside of this bag. This is a backpack, but I actually removed the shoulder straps. I'm not a big fan of shoulder straps. I think they get in the way, but this bag had everything that I wanted, so I went ahead and just cut those straps off. Sorry, Vito, but that's the way I do things. I like to customize to my liking. So it's got two main zippers, one here, and it's got one here. You have a small pouch and a small zipper here. So we'll go ahead and start with this pouch. All I keep in here is some jumper wires, a little uh, three amp resettable fuse, so if I'm dealing with any kind of low voltage shorts, this is what I go to, and that's pretty much it. I keep it nice and simple, not too much stuff. And down here, this is empty. I don't keep anything in there. So it's pretty straightforward on the front. We'll go ahead in here and turn over to the side. As you can see, I've got the fuel. This is the M12 Surge. Um, this is a fantastic little driver, drill, whatever you want to call it. Um, I rock the Malco reversible bit on here, the 5 16 to the quarter. This is the new version, so the quarter inch side uh, fits into a smaller area. But this drill here is fantastic. I absolutely love this drill. It's super quiet and it's really powerful. So what I'm needing to check pressure on the system really quickly, I don't want to go and grab a whole set of gauges or hook up my Bluetooth set as well. What I'll do is I'll just grab this little um, analog gauge here. I can quickly put it on the system, check a pressure, whatever I need to do, it's ready to go. And that's why I have this here as well. So this is the Weira uh, Joker. This is the mini, I believe, or the small. And uh, basically it just opens up from, I believe, uh, 5 eighths to half inch. So this is perfect for those um, Schrader port caps. You can quickly just remove or put them back on. That's why I kind of keep this right here on the bag. All right, so on the other side, I keep a, um, a white paint marker, a standard black Sharpie, and I've got my Milwaukee rechargeable flashlight. This thing is awesome. So this one actually takes the rechargeable batteries. So I believe um, these are the USB 3.0s. And I use this battery for some other things as well for different tools. So it comes in really handy. I've got about four of these batteries. I can easily swap them out um, when I need to. So yeah, the, and this thing is super, super bright. I really love that flashlight. And then I just keep some electrical tape and some uh, pipe threading tape. This is the Blue Monster stuff. So that's what I use on all my gas pipe fittings or maybe a uh, threaded fitting for PVC. Whatever I need to seal threads with, this is what I use. All right, so let's dig into the bag. On the front pocket, which this is considered the front of the bag, we're gonna go ahead and open that up. I keep a set of gloves. You always need to be protecting the hands. Um, as you can see here, this thing is pretty packed full, but it's still very accessible. All the tools, are nice and organized. I don't have too much stuff in there, but I have just enough, in my opinion. So I'm gonna start off with the snips. I've got a set of right hand snips. These are the Malco versions. I like to keep those on the bag. We got a torpedo level here. All right, so I keep the Milwaukee strippers here. I really love this set. I've gone through Klein, Milwaukee, a couple different ones. Um, I've kind of landed on these. I really like these. So those stay in the bag. I keep a set of Milwaukee scissors. You never know when you need some scissors. Uh, PVC cutters. And we get on this side of the bag, I keep the DeWalt Crescent Wrench. I really like this one because it opens up really, really wide. Wider than a standard uh, Crescent Wrench that is a 10 inch. So I really like this set. And then I just added these recently. So these are the Knipix, I think is a proper way to pronounce it. Um, these are basically like channel locks but with a flat surface. So that way you can uh, unions or anything, any kind of um, nuts or whatever, and you can quickly adjust on the fly to whatever you need. These things are fantastic. I cannot stress that enough. I didn't know how good these were until I actually started using them and I got comfortable with them. And uh, you don't have to squeeze them super, super tight whenever you're trying to tighten or loosen anything. It basically grabs on for you. So you just kind of hold it in your hand and you can loosen or tighten. Again, these things are absolutely fantastic. So highly recommend those. We have the traditional Lyman's. These are some Kleins that I've had for a very long time. As you can see, they're 
they're uh, pretty whooped up, but man, they still work just fine. Same thing on the uh, wire cutters here with a little bit of crimpers as well. So this is a set of clients. I've had these for quite a while. This is a new set that I just added to the bag. So again, these are Knipix. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, but these are fantastic as well. Again, when I uh, going back to those pliers as well, I didn't know how good they are until I started using them. I use these for basically putting together like half inch or three quarter inch black iron. And the way they're designed, you don't have to apply so much uh, sh grip strength to it. They hold phenomenal. It's fantastic. Even this smaller set here. So uh, again, when I'm putting or taking apart half inch gas line, three quarter inch gas line, I'm just grabbing these now. I don't even grab my, my big um, you know, pipe wrenches anymore. These are pretty much my go-to wrenches for um, all of that. So yeah, these things are awesome. Highly recommend picking up some of those. So when we go on this top layer here, I just keep some razor blades for the actual DeWalt razor blade here, or the knife, I should say. Uh, just a standard one, but you know, it's all metal construction, so it's pretty, pretty solid. Then I keep a smaller, this is a six inch DeWalt Crescent wrench. Um, this thing is nice too, because for how small it is, it opens up really wide, and I really like that. So that kind of goes well with this 10 inch. And then we have some of these little flush cuts. So these are really, really good whenever you're wanting to cut wire ties or wires, whatever you want, um, and you want it to be flush. Mainly zip ties, right? That's gonna be the biggest thing you'll use them for, um, but it cuts them flush enough to where you, you won't um, you know, catch yourself on it or anything, and it just makes it look really clean as well. So that's what lives in here, up on the side. And this is a new addition I've got too. So this is a Klein tool as well. It's a little service wrench, and I think they label it as an electrician service wrench. But basically, it's got quarter inch on one side, and it has five sixteenths on the other. They're both magnetized, and then it has a reversing switch there. So you don't have to flip it over. You just turn the switch if you're loosening or tightening. Uh, these are fantastic. So what I like to do with this, I actually don't keep a service wrench on the truck anymore or any kind of Allen keys. I keep this, and then I picked up these. So these are basically a metric set and a standard set of Allen keys, and they have the quarter inch shank that goes directly into this tool. So that way I've got a nice ratcheting um, Allen key set for whatever I'm working on. And when you're dealing with the actual service valves on units, the vapor line is always gonna be this 5 sixteenths, and the liquid line is the 316. So that's what I use instead of a standard like yellow jacket service wrench. I just swapped over to this and it works great. Not only that, if you're ever working in a tight space and you need to get a quarter inch or a 5 16 uh, bolt or screw out, there you go. All right, the last thing up here is just a standard. This is a Milwaukee version, right angle attachment that goes into the drill. That way if you're in a tight spot, this helps you out. And then the last thing on this side of the, of the bag, I just keep uh, two different tubing cutters. So this one goes up from, this is quarter to inch and an eighth. And then this one is a quarter to five eighths. So just two different sizes and they just live right here in this little zipper. So that's pretty much it on this side of the bag. Let's get all this put back in here and check the other side. All right, so everything's back in the bag on that side. Let's go ahead and switch it over and let's look on the back side. So again, I removed the shoulder straps off this bag. Some people think that's crazy, but you know what? I like to customize my tools, my bags for the way I like things. And I just don't like shoulder straps. You're constantly fighting them, getting them in your way. Now, if I need to go work up on a rooftop or something and I need something to be able to put on my shoulder, I just use a standard shoulder strap that I've had for on previous bags and I just tie them in to right here, and that way I can put it on my shoulder and I can still get it off out of my hand, so that way I can either climb a ladder or carry other things. So anyway, let's dive into this back side of the bag. As you can see, this is all my screwdrivers and all, you know, like meters and things like that. So um, the meter that I carry on this bag is the field piece. This is the SC460. So if I'm not mistaken, this one is actually outdated. I think there's a 440 now that took this place. But this is still a fantastic meter. I use it every day and uh, I love it. As far as screwdrivers go, um, I keep a 
a standard flathead. And this is a Baco, I believe, B-A-H-C-O, on this flathead, the big flathead, the medium sized flathead. And then I keep a smaller Klein. This is uh, for thermostats. So I like this particular thermostat screwdriver better because it has the bigger handle to it. Now, I got a bigger hand, so I want something that fits in the hand nicely and it's not really small. Uh, so yeah, this one works out really good. And then I got a standard 11 and one on the Klein as well. This one does have the straighter core removal tool in there, so that's good to have. It's good to have an 11 and one. That way, if you just need to grab you know, a screwdriver really quick, you can just grab that, the meter, go where you need to go. But anyway, so I keep that on the bag. And then I, I keep a couple of the field piece wireless probes as well. That way, if I need to do a quick check, a little bit far, deeper than just you know, one pressure, if I need to look at what a superheat is of the subcool or whatever, I can quickly just grab the probe. So I keep one pipe clamp, I keep one pressure probe, and I keep one hygrometer. So that'll pretty, pretty much tell me, um, you know, whatever I need to know without grabbing the full set of gauges or diving into the full set of wireless probes. So this works out really well for me just having one of each. And then I also have the, the digital, um, I'm sorry, the wireless manometer as well. So that way if I need to check uh, a static pressure or something or check gas pressure, whatever it is, I've got everything I need with just these four probes, um, which is pretty awesome. I really like that. So I'm not gonna take everything out of here as you can see, but I, you know, I keep a drill bit, a three, three eighths adapter for sockets. Um, this is the Milwaukee five sixteenths to three eighths um, adapter here, which is really nice. I keep an extension here. This is the extended Mil um, Malco bit, which is pretty nice. And then I keep another six inch adapter here. This is a half inch, I believe. No, I'm sorry. This one is seven sixteenths. And then this one is half inch. So, you know, on condenser motors or blower motor brackets, this is already, it's got the magnet already in there. So you could just throw that into your drill and remove those bolts. It's pretty quick. So you don't have to worry about having um, a bunch of sockets. You can just quickly use those and you're good to go. And this is just a little Torx bit that I have, I use on a lot of different pieces of equipment. And then over here on the side, I keep a 12 inch extension for the drill as well. All right, so pretty much the only thing left, I have a zipper here. And I keep a couple of wires with some jumpers with some different ends on them. Uh, just depending on what kind of sensors I'm using, if I need to tap in there and uh, check some things out or extend some leads, I just kind of keep that just in case I need it. So also I, I like to keep in here the fittings that I need to be able to check gas pressure. Again, going back to that, that digital manometer, these are the fittings that you're gonna need depending on which valve you have to check gas pressure. So I keep all that in here. I keep a couple of little uh, jumper leads for the meter. So if I need to use this like alligator style, I keep those in there as well. And I believe that's pretty much it. I don't think I keep anything in this zipper here. Oh yeah, I do, okay. So I keep a small uh, little kit here with different, we have wire nuts, you know, we got some screws, Schrader cores, just different little fittings that I might need when I'm out there working and I just, need a little wire nut or a fuse or you know one screw, whatever it is. I don't want to have to go all the way back to the truck to get something that small. So I like to keep this little handy little uh, tote here and it just lives right in there. And that's pretty much it guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff put back together. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up the video and what's in my Vito Pro Pack 2021. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about what I use or maybe if there's something that you would like to see in the bag that you think would be helpful, let me know down in the comments section below. Now, I'm also gonna leave down there a link to all these tools with truetechtools.com. You can use my promo code QUALITYHVAC to save yourself 8% on your order. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time. See you guys later.